Round 7 of the 2018 FIA European Truck Racing Championship and we're at the legendary racetrack of Le Mans. Since 1923, the world-famous 24-hour race has taken place on the Circuit de la Sarthe loop of this circuit. The weather, dry and sunny, and many fans have come to the circuit to see the possible outcome of the title. A quick look at the standings. Jochen Hahn, the 2016 champion, already 66 points ahead of last year's champion, Adam Lachko. Hahn has a good chance to take the crown this weekend. Of course, I want to rock it here. I really like the track here. I feel confident and could already celebrate a few good races here. With 66 points ahead, I can even cope with a little mistake. So I'm going all in and full risk. Defending the title is almost impossible for Adam Lachko. The Czech is fighting for second right now. Every year he's struggling with the slippery tarmac at Le Mans and the right setup for his Freightliner rig. I think it's Jochen is already champion, but we're fighting with Antonio and Norby for the second and third position. And I think it's interesting, maybe two weekends here in Le Mans and uh, Harama. And about the circuit here in, in Le Mans and my track, uh, here is very slippery and very, very slippery circuit. Our Bagheera is not very happy with the slippery tarmac and we try to make the best. After the ETRC weekend at Zolder in Belgium, Antonio Albafetti is now up to third in the championship. The Spaniard has already taken three wins this season and is definitely on the rise at the moment. He's sitting third, only four points ahead of Norbert Kish in fourth. We definitely try to fight for the third position. We are not so far off. I think we are four points behind Antonio. And uh, it was pretty close uh, with him. In the whole season, it was ups and downs for him, and uh, and I was a little more stable. So you know, I uh, I hope to be the same stable, and, um, and and we try to do the best. Let's see what happened in the race. Uh, let's see how the race uh, is going on. And uh, but what I say, I mean, my my goal is is to 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 take points. You know, we will see what happened in the next races what happened tomorrow and what happened this week in Harama, but the goal is to be in front of uh, Norbert and Sacha. Sacha Lentz, the German with the yellow MAN truck, number 30, takes pole on Saturday at Le Mans, same as last year, by winning the Super Bowl. It's just fun to race here. I really like this circuit. Tight corners and hard braking is required here. For me, and also for my truck, the track is just perfect. And I couldn't be happier about taking the pole. 20 trucks, 10 grid girls, one pole sitter. 2 minutes 5.205, the time of Sasha Lentz that took him to pole. It's half a second slower than last year, but it's still enough to put him first on the grid.
second on the grid, Jochen Hahn, who wants to keep up with his series of winning main races, but he also shows huge respect for Lentz. Big respect for Sasha taking pole today. His lap was just perfect. Let's see how I get off the start for sure. I want to take the big points, but I don't want to destroy Sasha's ambitions for winning the race. He absolutely deserves it. Row two, Andre Kurzim in third and Norbert Kisch fourth, just 25,000 slower than Lentz. On row three, Antonio Albafete and Ryan Smith. Smith parting company with Team Oxo, and he's now back as a race by race entry. We move alone, and uh, I wish Oxo every success in the future. Um, but we now must move forward, and we must make progress, and we must learn. You know, as, as we talked about earlier off camera, you know, you, speed is not enough. We need the whole package, like Jochen, like Antonio, like the teams here I, I have. And uh, very soon we have it, and I think we can, uh, we can be really fast. It's time to go racing. The start of race one. Lentz and Hahn off the front. Behind them, it's Kurzim in third, followed by Kish, Smith and Albafetti. Heading up to the first chicane, looking back from the track of Sasha Lentz. Hahn attacks. Then there's Kurzim, Kish and Albafetti all queued up behind him. Hahn closes under braking, but there's no gap on the inside. Kurzim latching onto the tail of the championship leader. This is how it feels to be hunted. Sasha Lentz under attack from Jochen Hahn. Lentz goes a little deep into the corner. There's a gap on the inside, and Hahn dives through. My brake point was maybe a bit too late, so the grip of the tyres wasn't on point there. So Jochen had the chance and immediately took it. He did a mistake there, and I was the lucky one in that situation. Lap six. Hahn and Lentz leading by six seconds. Kurzim has to fight some technical issues. He's passed by Kish and then by Albafetti. Once ahead, Kish sets off in pursuit of the leaders, but it's a big gap to try to make up. Albafetti, though, swoops around the outside and secures the move against Kurzim. The fans look on, being treated to some ever so spectacular racing. Kurzim is dropping back. Steffi Halm and Ryan Smith have gone through. Now it's Adam Lachko's turn. Kurzim is down to ninth. From the second lap, we had some troubles with the turbo, and that meant that my power was pretty poor, so I lost one position after another and dropped back and back through the field. Ninth, not really what the young German was expecting, but he does get a bit of luck in the end. Ahead of Kurzin is Ryan Smith, the British driver, the British champion, powering on. But there's bad news looming for Smith. The Brit saw the black flag for overspeeding. He has to come into the pit lane. Kurzin moves up to eight, which is good news on the reverse grid for race two. On the last lap, it's Hahn ahead of Lentz. Hahn is heading for a victory. Lentz heading for second place, unable to close. Team Hahn is ready to celebrate in the pit lane. It's victory number nine under the belt of Jochen Hahn and another 20 points in the championship with Sasha Lent second and Norbert Kisch coming home in third. With a perfect race, the German is one step closer to his fifth title.
Jochen Hahn on the top step of the podium yet again. Sasha Lent second, Norbert Kish third after race one here at Le Mans. Hahn isn't the only driver heading towards a championship. Shane Brereton takes 10th and also wins the Grammar Cup. He's on his way to win the Grammar Cup part of the championship. Fass, Rodriguez and Rafenko all disqualified. Smith and Coleman excluded from the race too. Yeah, I've been happy. I'm just really happy right now, says Jochen Hahn. It's another win, and now we're leading the championship by 80 points over Adam. I think that's right, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, it's a big step closer to the title for me, and that's really good news. Um, French fans love truck racing. The French Championship takes place this weekend as well. And morning to evening, the grandstands are full. Race two on a late Saturday afternoon. First on the grid is Andre Kurzim. Next to him is the European Truck Racing Championship's only female driver, Steffi Hahn. We want to win, that's why we're here. The starting position is really good, and with a good start, I think I can take the lead. Andre is really fast here, but we'll give everything to be on the podium at least. On row two, René Reinert and Adam Lachko. Lachko lost another 12 points in the fight for the title, but that final decision can be made on Sunday. <laughs> Alba Fete is the closest rival of Lachko. He lines up alongside Kish. Ready for the start of race two. As with every FIA European Track Racing Championship race, it's a rolling start. Kurzim and Harm off the front, up towards turn one. This the view on board with Adam Lachko in fourth. The field all bunched up as it heads towards the first of the chicanes. <laughs> on board with Ryan Smith, up from the back of the grid, Irving klein Nagelvort spins ahead of him. <laughs> Another spinner ahead is Ray Coleman. Was there contact with Stefan Fass, maybe? Up front, Andre Kurzim is leading on lap two. He's followed by Steffi Halm. She's under attack from René Reinert, who goes to the inside line. There's contact between the two, and Reinert ends up off the road. Aggressive racing between the two former teammates. It was a strange situation, especially because there was a yellow flag out. In the right turn, I moved a bit to the right. He was on the inside and off the track. No big problem there. But then in the left turn, we had contact and I got pushed out more and more. Drauf kommt diese Linkskurve, aber da davor hatten wir auch immer noch mal kleinere Kontakte, wo ich dann einfach mehr und mehr rausgeschoben wurde. Wir haben uns dann kurz berührt. We've had a bit of contact, and so she was pushed to the left a bit. In the left turn, I felt like getting the rebound for it. Fully hit, and I was out in the gravel. It damaged the axle and the tyre, and my race was over at that point. Halm still sitting second, but Steffi is under pressure from Alba Fetti and Lachko. Meanwhile, Hahn is in the fight with Lentz. Lentz is just ahead of Hahn as they come out of the hairpin, but the two of them running nose to tail here. It's the same spot as in the previous race. Lentz on the outside, Hahn on the inside. Jochen Hahn goes through, up into fifth place now. And what about Ryan Smith? He's making his way through the pack. He gets ahead of Jose Rodriguez on lap seven and takes eighth place.
On lap eight, Jochen Hahn comes up to try to pass Antonio Albafetti. It's a great move by Hahn and fair driving from Albafetti. It moves the German up into fourth place. Hahn is making progress. Further up the field, he's gaining more points with every place he takes. Albafetti tries to fight back, but it's too late. Hahn is through. And kudos from his father, Connie Hahn. In the end, Hahn comes close to Lachko, but he can't pass the Czech driver. Kurzim takes the win, 1.8 seconds ahead of Steffi Halm. Lachko is third, and Hahn bags fourth. Congratulations and celebrations at Team Don't Touch Racing, its first win of the season. A team in its first season in the championship finally getting a win. And drama post-race for Adam Lachko. He stops out on the track. For the Czech driver, there are problems. The engine is a little bit overheat because when I go behind the Steffi all race and I try past him somewhere and I wait for some mistake, but she didn't make a mistake. She drive very nice this race. And after his Jochen is behind me, I look to the mirror, I defend good. But after the checkered flag, the engine is still inside all the controls, uh, blinking the red, and after it stopped. Lachko's truck had to be towed back to the garage and brought back to the team. An engine change will be necessary. Andre Kurzim changes the seat of his truck for the top step of the podium. One day before his 27th birthday, it's possibly the best present for him. Surrounded by Harm and Lachko, he's celebrating. It's not often that you take a big win at famous Le Mans. And Shane Brierton is once again the Grammar Cup winner, finishing in 10th place. Well done, Andre Kurzim and the Don't Touch Racing team. It's been a tough season for Kurzin and for the new squad. This result is a very sweet victory indeed. I think every race car driver wants to win at Le Mans. I'm just super proud and super happy. Letztes Jahr beziehungsweise den Promoters Cup, aber super happy hier ein Rennen zu gewinnen. The sun goes down at Le Mans, but the grandstands are still busy. There's still a lot to see for the spectators. There's the truck show and the fireworks. Sunday and time for race three. For the seventh time this year, Jochen Hahn starts from pole position. He has won half of all the Super Poles this season. Definitely a big part of his success. The calculation for the overall title in this race is simple. As long as Jochen Hahn can beat Adam Lachko, he's the new champion. Let's be honest, I want to take the title in this race. Next to Hahn on the front row is Sasha Lentz. The grandstands are full again on this sunny Sunday at the Le Mans Bugatti circuit. Hahn and Lentz next to each other on their way to turn one. Latchko drops back from seventh to twelfth after the start. On board with Antonio Albafetti, the Spaniard is behind Kish and Smith. On the right is Shane Brayton, who makes contact with Smith. Both have to take the emergency exit on the slip road to the right. By lap four, Lachko is back in 10th. But if there's nothing crazy in this race, Jochen Hahn will be the 2018 champion.
at the halfway point. It's Kurzim leading from Halm and Kish, the three of them chasing Hahn. Kish after some hard moves in Zolda, the Hungarian under probation here. He shows a super clean performance at Le Mans and moves up to fourth. Very important points for him in the final fight for the overall podium. Andre Kurzin busy defending that third spot as Connie Hahn, Jochen's dad, looks on. He can't wait for his son to take that chequered flag. At 2.07 p.m., Jochen Hahn becomes the 2018 FIA European Truck Racing Champion. There's relief for Team Hahn Racing. The T-shirts have already been printed and Jochen Hahn wins his fifth European title. Jochen Hahn takes the race win. Sasha Lent second, Andre Kurzin third. It's an all German podium. Norbert Kisch fourth, moves up to third in the overall championship standings. Two points ahead now of Antonio Albafetti. A disappointing 12, outgoing champion Adam Lachko. Jochen Hahn is the man who now has that crown. We've been mega, really mega happy. I'm super, super happy now. We did it with Iveco this year, and I'm extremely proud of this. Shane Brereton dominates the Grammar Cup. He takes the overall title here this weekend. It's another win for the Brit. It's very important. It's um, some nice recognition. We've worked really hard. We still got a long way to go, um, but it's it's a nice pat on the back, and um, you know it was it was a good fight along the way as well. Britain's fellow countryman Ryan Smith will start race four on pole position. We just need to get into the into the first for the t uh, for the chicane, and then hopefully hopefully we see what we can do. But wherever there's Ryan Smith, there's always something that can happen. Next to Smith on the front row is Antonio Albafetti. He's only two points behind Kish in the championship now. The Spaniard immediately takes the lead of the race. He passes Smith, who seems to have problems at the start. The lights go green, we change gear. No gear, no gear. So I take two attempts to get it in, and then uh, everybody, um, Antonio comes past, and uh, Steffi and uh, Rodriguez. Uh, but we gain the speed, we get back to P2 behind... Um, Antonio. Smith takes a shortcut at the chicane, but there's no further action on this. On lap three, Jochen Hahn is pushing Jose Rodriguez hard. He dives at the inside, coming into the final corner. The new champion goes through. He's already moved from eighth into fourth. Hahn is charging his way up through the field. He's aiming next for the podium. This, the move in slow motion. There's just enough room on the inside, and Jochen Hahn dives through. The next target for Jochen Hahn is to pass teammate Steffi Halm. She wanted a podium as well, but Hahn is in uncompromising form. It's another place gained for the new champion, now into the top three. The next question, can Hahn catch the two ahead of him, or is he going to run out of laps? Terry Gibbon is a bit too optimistic on lap eight. It's game over for him contact with Ray Coleman who keeps going and ends up 15th but Gibbon suffers a lot of damage. Antonio Albafetti is the winner of race four at Le Mans. He's followed over the line by Ryan Smith and Jochen Hahn in third. In the championship the Spaniard is back to third again. In the race results, Norbert Kish is only 10th, but Ryan Smith is not allowed to collect points anymore. He's a race-by-race -race entrant, so the Hungarian only loses eight points to his Spanish rival, Antonio Albafetti.
for Albafetti, a fourth victory of the season, is a great advert for the last races of the 2018 championship on his home victory soil at Harama in Spain. And also the fight for the third in the championship, you know, that also will make a very interesting the, the, the Harama race. The overall standings, harm the new champion, impossible to beat. Lachko is second, 25 points up on a strong driving Antonio Albafetti. And that fight for second, third and fourth is going to be very exciting. Albafetti, Kish and Lentz are all battling as well. And they could all be third, come Harama. In the Grammar Cup, Shane Brereton is the champion.